Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinwoven Home. I'm Shara. As of right now, I am probably home snuggling baby Sawyer. But as I mentioned in our last video, I have batch filmed a couple of fun videos for you guys during this season that I'm taking maternity leave. So that is why I still look puffy and pregnant. Don't you love it? I do. Not really. No, I do. I really do love it. Why are we here? Let's talk about the video. <laughs> Today's video, we are gonna jump into some of my favorite Ikea uh, interior design approved furniture pieces. Things that I have ordered myself that I use all the time in projects or in my own home and that um, I think you guys should take a peek at if you're looking for some inexpensive furniture ideas. I know if you guys saw my video about kind of my like journey between each of my apartments and homes that I've lived in over the last 10 years, I've used a ton of Ikea products. I love Ikea, it's one of my favorite stores. I was actually one of the biggest bummers of moving to Tulsa is there is no Ikea in I don't know. Is there no Ikea in any of Oklahoma? Yeah, no Ikea in anywhere in Oklahoma, which is a huge bummer. There is one three hours away in Dallas. But anyway, that's just my drama. Hopefully you live near an Ikea and this video will help you find some awesome pieces. Today's question of the video is, what is your favorite furniture piece in your home? My favorite Ikea furniture piece is a bed that I just bought for our guest house that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. And then my favorite overall furniture piece would be a tie between the bed behind me, which I got at Living Spaces, and I'll link below, and also my article chair that I always talk about that has the coolest back and the prettiest leather. It just makes me happy when I see it. And I just think it's simple, but still very stylish. And it's my color palette and it's very comfortable. Okay, leave me your favorite piece of furniture below. Make sure you thumbs up this video and then let's get into today's video. item that I'm going to talk about is a PAX wardrobe system. This would not be an Ikea furniture tour or furniture haul or whatever this is without talking about the PAX wardrobe systems because they're so amazing and they're so customizable. You can literally use their boxes of wardrobe systems and you can fully DIY them to look custom, which I have never done because I've never been anywhere permanent until now. But if you aren't in a permanent situation, you can still utilize them. I've used them in Nikki DeMar's apartment. It was an awesome some option for her to be able to organize her wigs and her makeup and all of the things that she needed. I've used them in my house, my apartment. If you guys saw my very first bedroom video that I did on my mom's channel, when she surprised me with a little room makeover, my closet room, those are Ikea Pax wardrobe systems. In my mom's bedroom, in her old, the house that she just sold, she did an Ikea wardrobe wall, but she covered them with mirrors, so you kind of don't know if it's it's like an illusion, it's pretty cool. I've had them in my kitchen in my Solana Beach apartment. I brought them from Solana Beach to Hermosa Beach to then this house and now they're in the garage and we're not really using them, but we will when we get to organizing the garage. You can literally have them serve any purpose if you want them in a kitchen, if you want them in a kid's playroom, if you want it in an office, if you need it to organize clothing, like they have every option. And for a customized closet option, it's very affordable. So if you're looking to do something fancy with organization, I would recommend checking out the PAX wardrobe system. Now I started with PAX because it's the easiest name. <laughs> the rest of these get a little touch and go, so I'm gonna probably mispronounce them, and if you speak Swedish, I'm very sorry. The Granadal chair, Granadal. I think that's how you say it. The Granadal rocking chair is quite an adorable chair. It is actually a piece of furniture that looks really high end, like you'd find it in a really cute store in like North Park in San Diego, or if you don't live there, just like a cute like hipster store. It doesn't look like a cheap Ikea piece of furniture, and I can say that because a lot of Ikea furniture is pretty cheap, which is why we all like to go there. It's not a bad thing. But it looks really cute in like designer-esque, and it's rock a rocker. It is not the most comfortable chair, but it is really beautiful. So if you put maybe a pad on it or if you're rocking it on carpet or a rug, I think it is a lot more comfortable as opposed to like outside or on hardwood, you know? You could put it in a bedroom, you could put it in a living room, you could put it in a nursery or a kid's room. You could put it outside on a patio. You can really put it anywhere. It's a really cute chair. I would highly recommend you check it out. It looks like Bajork, Kansas, but that's not the name. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Bajorkness Ken Dresser. <laughs> I don't think that was it. I always tell you guys don't go matchy matchy with your, like don't buy a set of anything, but this is the one instance that I think you should buy this whole set. And not use it in the same room, use it in different rooms, but you should buy the whole set, and here's why. It's just beautiful, the whole line. Okay, so when I said I had my favorite piece of Ikea furniture, I bought the bed for the guest house, and when you guys see that video, which I think we're gonna upload after this video, you'll see why it's so cool. It's like the most Scandinavian, aesthetically pleasing, beautiful, simplistic, minimalistic, but like amazing bed ever. And the side tables are so cute, they have little leather pulls. And the dresser, I bought the dresser to go up in another guest room. So I'm using the side tables as like a side table for my rocker in the nursery. I bought the bed for the back house and then I have a dresser in another room. So I bought the whole set but I'm spreading it out, you know? And one day I could put it all together if I really wanted to, but I probably won't because it looks good when you mix things up. And it's very neutral and I just love the leather detail. It looks a lot like the um, dresser I put in Ashley's nursery, if you guys remember that video. That was a West Elm piece, the Nash dresser, which I actually also bought for our nursery. The Ikea one is much smaller and if you want to use it as a changing table, it is a little bit too small for that in my opinion. But if you're using it as just a dresser, it's perfect. The one from Ikea is awesome and it's called Bajorkness. Bajork, Jork, do you pronounce the J? Bjorkness? Is it like, who's that one artist? Bjork? Bjork in Kansas had a baby and they made a dresser. An entire line and it's fabulous, you should buy it. Moving on to the next favorite item from Ikea. Number four, the Rivta Curtains. Okay, this would not be a Ken Woven Home video if I didn't talk about curtains. You guys know I used to have a favorite Ikea curtain and it was called the Vivan and it was white and it was like $10 and you could get two panels and I used to, I put them in my Hermosa Beach apartment and I showed you how to hem them without having to sew. You could just do a no sew hem trick. Well, they discontinued that curtain. Let's all take a moment of silence. Now I have a new favorite, and to be honest with you, I think I like it a little better than the, than the Vivan, which I never thought I would say. The new favorite is called the Rivta. Now the Rivta is not white, it is an off-white, kind of creamy color, but it's a thicker curtain, so it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit more luxury. It looks linen, it's not linen. Linen would be very expensive, and they're not expensive. I think they're about $30 for two. They come with tie backs, which I don't use, but you could if you wanted to, but I like the panel look better. And I do get this question a lot, how do I hang them? Do I use the pole hole? <laughs> Or do I use the little stringy things on the back? And the answer to that question is I use the stringy things on the back. If you have dealt with these, you know that will be helpful, I promise. Just remember, the stringy is not the hole. Okay, I would recommend not washing them. They get very wrinkled if you wash them. You can steam them or iron them or just hang them up, let them sit for two days and the wrinkles usually fall out. I usually touch um, steam them when needed and they're good to go. And if you wanna know how to hem them if they're too long, I would recommend watching this video that I will tag up here. Highly recommend checking out that video if you get them and they're too long. You want them to go from the ceiling all the way to the floor. You can hem them if you need to and they're gonna look great. Number five, the Stockholm coffee table. Now, if you guys saw the video we did at my friend Charity's house, we redid her living room, then you guys will remember this really beautiful, it's like a walnut veneer wood coffee table and it has kind of like a woven, step underneath it that's like another little platform to put stuff on. It almost looks like a surfboard shape, but it's kind of like mid-century modern, and it's just a beautiful walnut veneer table. Which leads me to number six, which is the Stockholm sideboard. So that is kind of like a, a chest, it looks like a dresser, but it's something you can use in your dining room or in your bedroom if you need to, and it's a beautiful walnut veneer again, similar wood, it matches. Use it in a different room if you can. It has two drawers and removable shelves, so you can completely customize it, and it's just a really beautiful piece of furniture, especially if you're going for more of a walnut, darker wood look. Sniglar crib. And number seven, the Sniglar crib. Of course, I had to include a baby item in here. Um, this is a really beautiful kind of birchwood crib. I think it looks really similar to a lot of other options that are at Pottery Barn Kids or some of those different places. And it's just a really simple, light wood, inexpensive crib that is beautiful and I think really good quality. I do not have this crib, 
I have seen friends that buy this crib and it looks very similar to the Nash crib for a whole lot less money. So check it out if you're in need of a crib. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was an exciting video for you guys. If you needed some furniture pieces you're on the hunt for, hopefully you have an Ikea in your neck of the woods that you can order from or go stop by their store. Don't forget to answer the question of the video, what's your favorite piece of furniture? And again, if you guys haven't joined our little family here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe. Thumbs up this video and check us out on Instagram, which is at Shara Stevens. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back soon. Love to you all. I hope you're having a great new year, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bjorknesis. Bjork. Bjorknesnas. Knas. Knas. Bjorknesnas. Bjorknesnas dresser. Okay.